what I've what I've left about out about this is up Chuck the Clown, the host of the Gathering of Juggalos comedy show, always forever the entire time of the show. The up Chuck the Clown. Yeah, up Chuck the Clown goes. And he's a sweet guy. I've ta- I've actually he's come to see me at actual comedy clubs with no clown makeup and just been himself. And like he's he's a fan of comedy. Is that he's just up Chuck. He's a fan of comedy, <laughs> but but his but his world is his world is that Gathering of the Juggalos. They use him for some reason because he's a clown, I guess. But up Chuck the Clown goes. And he's done it both times I've worked with him at this gathering of the Juggalos. Is he goes, I'm going to do 15 minutes, I'm going to get him going, and then I'll bring you guys up. He goes up there and he goes, What's up, Juggalos? How you feeling? They go, Fuck you up, Chuck. <laughs> Suck my dick, you fucking faggot piece of shit. And he goes, All right, we're going to get this comedy show started. And, he's, and he just brings up the first comic, which was Lewis. That's hilarious. Lewis smokes pot with him. I go up there and do my time. Mike goes up there and does his time. And Mike's doing fine, but which is great. And again, this is, this, is, this is 10 years ago almost. So Mike's 10 years earlier in the comedy, and you know we all have the green on us we had at that time. And Mike's green showed in the sense that like, where I was aware of at the time. And by the way, I still had this thing in me, but like watching it, like Mike's set was like choppy. He did well, but it was choppy <laughs> up until the point of when you go, any comic, even if the set's going bad, when you see the the... The salvation of like red light or like you know the the whatever, know the, whatever the signal is, yeah. you go that next two minutes. Weirdly, sometimes will even be amazing because you're like, oh, I'm getting out of here now. It's like you loosen up and you become the comic you always could have been, right, from the get go. And um, so Mike has this thing, and he starts fucking like, he just you see his. I mean, his shoulders drop when I give him. I, he looks at me off stage, and I kind of give him like that. You can wrap it up, but right. like you, one one or two more jokes can get. You've been here. through enough already. Right? You're done. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry about it. You're done. No one needs to see you cry on stage. Mike starts enough, the shoulders <laughs> drop, and Mike's pacing the stage and hitting his next joke, and then he's getting ready to do his last one. And he goes, "Do you remember this, Mikey? Yeah, absolutely. He goes, uh, "He goes, people. I had a dream last night, and some guy just yells out, Fuck your dreams.'" <laughs> <laughs> SDR Show.